today we're going to look at the 2023 Kia Telluride SX. Pros and cons of it. Which there's going to be a lot of pros. <laughs> you can actually look at an outside view, 360 view of your car. All the way around. It's actually a pretty cool feature, I think. With uh, HD quality, uh, you know, cameras all the way around the vehicle. You got wireless charging, heating cooled seats. You got a full digital display right here in the front of you. So... You see how it's sunny right now? If it starts raining, that'll show rain, which is pretty cool. Sunset, it's gonna show a sunset on there. Nighttime, it's gonna be nighttime on there. And you can change that to another theme if you would like, but anyway. So, boom, you get the dual sunroofs out of, obviously out of the SX. You get the bucket, bucket seats, you get the window shades. Um. memory seats up here in the front with me you got the child lock which you can lock the windows and the doors with the press of one button which is pretty cool um you got all your you know illumination and all that bloody blues over there um so the inside it's still the same you know a little some new key little highlighted features but let's take a look at the outside real quick Got the Harmony Garden stereo, obviously. This is the uh, the Midnight Lake Blue. HID headlights, fog lights, obviously. There's one of your front facing cameras right there. That's a pretty blue, though, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know how I was gonna feel about it, but it's pretty nice. I like it. The rims, they did pretty good on, too. So. starting to grow on me. I mean, they're going to have to, obviously, right? <laughs> so the front, okay, so I, I'll give you this. Con, I mean, that, that does look a little, you know, I don't know what you say, cheap. They they went right there, but the other one, I think, looked a little better, but it's still all in all over. They, they killed it on the inside. So, you have a full 12.25 display up here so that you can split the screen so you can look at the radio and all that as you drive so you don't have to just look at the navigation or you can flip flop that around and go blah, 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 blah. radio radio slash navigation and we we'll, we got an incredible uh sound system in the Harmony Card. Oh, sorry, I got into it. <laughs> anyway, so still great ride as always as the 22s and 21s had. Quiet as this third row SUV I've ever ridden in period sold had the pleasure of selling all that good stuff but uh 3.7 still gives you plenty of horsepower if you need it but with great fuel economy also and yeah it provides better reviews on everything about it than every other third row SUV calls safety all that good stuff. <laughs> Not knocking our competitors, but they suck. <laughs> so the lane assist, the safety features in the in Kia, Kia, these Koreans, they don't they don't play around with their safety features. So the car absolutely It's not intended for you to let it drive itself, but it absolutely will because it works so well on the lane assist and all that. And now they've introduced the blind spot with assist. So if you go to get over on somebody in the lane, it provides a it provides an assist if you go to in, in case of a collision. Yep, that part. So I'm, the vehicle's absolutely doing its own thing. I'm not even touching the wheel, but 
Not intended for you to do this. I repeat, not intended for you to do this. So we're going to see what kind of gas mileage we can get about this thing real quick. Yeah. So let's go on in here and reset it in your settings. We're going to go to here. And we're going to go to here. And look, as it gives you the road signs as you come up on them. Crazy, huh? Um, let's see, let's get in here to it real quick. Let's see what our gas mileage is. Should be right somewhere in there. There it is. So we're gonna reset all them. Oh shit. Hold that down, reset. Hold that down, reset. And we're gonna say some city. Reset. Bam. Now we're gonna rock out and see what kind of gas mileage we can get out of this thing. Well, drive yourself now. <laughs> All right, uh, one more time. Bam. Bam. So it even tells you an oncoming uh, curb coming up there. <laughs> so, we'll get into this gas mileage and then we'll... That's it. We're going to post this thing to YouTube and see what it do do so let's set this thing here set it at 37 so we're gonna bump that up to 40 so that all of our safety features are working like the lane system and all that all right so they are now as you can see they're lit up and those are all set it should give you the best gas mileage possible I mean the best uh, lane assist possible and it only works for that well if it's got uh, good lines in the road. So old roads, it won't work well on. But in general, this is a great vehicle. We're getting uh, 25.7 so far. Really good. 27.5. Get on up there. We should get into, we go up and down, but uh, average, it should be running about 27. On a third row vehicle. Come on, that helps out, don't it? And this is absolutely the quietest third row SUV I've ever owned, bar none, period. I've owned the Escalade, Durango, Tahoe's, all that. Nothing's got anything on this vehicle. This vehicle's stupid amazing. So we're getting 26.9 of it, which is going to get an average, but I mean, if we're rolling out around that right now, we're doing pretty good in this, you know, a little bit of seed driving. So Kia has a setting for every single thing, plus the, you know, intercom system throughout the vehicle. Please keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. <laughs> One of my faves. So, we're running. so as I said, about 27, 28, you're going to be running on one. Average gas mileage on the Kia Tay ride. Now, depending on how you drive now. If you lay into it all the time, then I'm uh, probably not going to get that. <laughs> I'm going to turn around here and go back. Great turning, man. This vehicle does not look, it's not top heavy. I love that part about it, too. I mean, it's absolutely not top heavy. You can ride it out. See, no, uh, no top sway. <laughs> No top sway, but I mean, watch this thing. It will absolutely drive for you, but it's not intended for that. That's just how well it works. Now, I don't, I, I wish they would have made the rear sunroof open, but I guess I see the point in not. But everybody asks that question, which it doesn't open. Well, this includes our Averdio. Smash that like button. Subscribe! <laughs> For real. Do it now.